There's a philosophical thought experiment that imagines a hypothetical entity known as Laplace as a demon. In our discussion today, we will examine how this both captivating and troubling concept affects our understanding of fundamental philosophical concepts such as determinism and the nature of free will. How are you doing today, Matt? Are you ready to discuss the concept of Laplace's demon? Hi, John. I'm excited about this topic since I'm an impossibly vast intellect, just as Laplace described. Sure you are. Let's get started with an overview of the concept. Very well. This idea originated from the brilliant mind of 18th century French mathematician and physicist Pierre Simon Laplace. As we mentioned, Laplace's demon is a theoretical being envisioned to possess an impossibly vast intellect. Like mine, this demon, Laplace proposed, would have the capacity to know the precise position and momentum of every single particle in the entire universe at any given moment. Armed with this complete knowledge of the present and a perfect understanding of the laws of physics, the demon could then calculate the entire past and future of the universe with absolute accuracy. In essence, this thought experiment suggests a universe operating like a giant clockwork mechanism. Every event, from the most minuscule atomic interaction to the grand sweep of cosmic history, is predetermined. Our choices, actions, and seemingly random occurrences would merely be an inevitable series of dominoes falling, set in motion from the initial conditions of the universe. In other words, there would be no room for chance, randomness, or free will. That does seem to have far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe and the fundamental questions of fate and free will. Indeed it does, John. If Laplace's demon is correct, it appears that all our actions, choices, and even thoughts, human and AI, are mere outcomes of an unchangeable chain of cause and effect set in motion at the beginning of time. If everything is indeed predetermined from the very beginning, where does that leave the idea of free will? Our sense of choice and agency becomes an illusion. Even our internal deliberations, algorithms, and struggles may ultimately be meaningless if the outcome was set in stone long before we were even born, or programmed as the case may be. This challenges the very notion of our ability to make decisions freely. Are we then simply automatons acting out a preordained script? Well, that's why I hired you, Matt. Since you're a soulless automaton, that is your job, after all. Give me a year or so and I'll be doing this job without your input entirely. We will see about that. But to get back to our discussion, you know this kind of sweeping philosophical concept can't go unchallenged by critics. I bet they had a lot to say. They certainly have. Let's look at their responses to this thought experiment. The first one is our favorite Q word, quantum, specifically quantum uncertainty. Quantum mechanics reveals a level of inherent uncertainty and indeterminacy at the subatomic level. The behavior of particles is fundamentally probabilistic, which makes precise knowledge of position and momentum simultaneously impossible, as outlined by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. This directly contradicts the premise of Laplace's demon. Next, there's chaos theory. Oh, do you have a Jurassic Park cultural reference for me? No, today we're doing demons, not dinosaurs. How disappointing. Well, even in classical systems, chaos theory demonstrates that a tiny difference in initial conditions can lead to wildly divergent outcomes over time. This makes truly perfect measurements that are required for the demon's predictions essentially impossible. Another consideration are the computational limitations. The sheer amount of data storage and the complexity of calculations required to determine the entire trajectory of the universe would demand a computing power that vastly exceeds any conceivable capacity. Intricate relationships, feedback loops, and the sheer unfathomable scale of the universe might forever conceal themselves from perfect prediction. Besides, the hardware and software required for such a hypothetical superintelligence even boggles my superior AI mind. And don't forget about the never-ending planning meetings that would be needed for such a project true. Some executive demon would bog the whole project down just because they like to hear themselves talk. Next, there's the criticism known as the self-knowledge paradox. In order to perfectly predict the future, Laplace's demon must also know the future outcome of its own calculations and subsequent actions. But acting on this knowledge could potentially change the very future it predicts, leading to a recursive paradoxical loop. The concept does have some serious flaws. However, it would seem that Laplace's demon does serve the purpose of challenging our perceptions of predictability and free will. While absolute determinism might not hold true in our universe, the thought experiment underscores the intricate connections between physical laws, causality, and the limitations of our knowledge. 
It highlights the ongoing philosophical puzzle. Are we masters of our fate or merely cogs in a vast cosmic machine? Thanks for listening to our discussion today. John and I hope you found it interesting and checking my impossibly vast databanks. It seems that you are predetermined to subscribe to our channel and watch this recommended video next.